Hi guys, this is Nathan with TheEvilCreator.com. So my favorite tablet is the Asus Transformer. That's what I've got here today. This is the original Transformer. It's not the newer one or anything. Uh, so Asus actually um, issued the firmware update today for Android 4.0. So I've updated to the new uh, Honeycomb, or the uh, from Honeycomb to the new Ice Cream Sandwich operating system. So I just got to give you guys a quick tour of what it's like. The first thing that I noticed uh, is the transitions are much quicker, as you can see. Um, actually, the whole operation is a lot quicker. Everything is a lot smoother. Seems like the processor got an upgrade, just as much a uh, improvement in speed that everything sort of has. You got the app drawer over here now with the uh, widgets as well. And I'll just sort of zoom around. There's some new widgets in here I noticed. Uh, the uh, we got this ASUS Task Manager now. I'll show you in a minute. Got some other. Uh, everything's sort of like a visual visual upgrade. We got the Google Plus widgets in here now. I don't think I remember those before. And I don't remember this uh, reader widget that I got on the home screen now. Some of this stuff seems uh, different. So like you've still got the uh, resizable widgets of course. So this is the uh, reader widget. I don't remember this before. I think that that is actually new. It's kind of cool. Everything's got like a new look too. We've got the calendar widget here. And it's got this actually pinch zoom now. You can zoom in on the change how big you want the uh, lists here. We can go into week as well. Okay, so some of the other stuff. Uh, the gallery's got a new look to it. There's this new way to take screenshots too. If you hit the power button, the volume button down at the same time, it's actually hard to get the timing right. I just use uh, Asus's uh, screenshot where you hold down the recent widget icon, which brings up another thing. You can close the other uh, stuff you've got here. So if you got the apps running, you just can close them like this. So the web browser is what uh, I'm liking. I was a uh, uh, checking out what are the improvements were with the ice cream sandwich right here and the web browser it's a lot it seems a lot faster everything seems to be just smoother loading scrolling is just a lot smoother I just uh, everything about zooming is smoother than it was before you get that uh, overlapping and weird coloration sometimes now it's just uh, it's a lot smoother page loads seem a lot smoother I haven't had any crashes yet. That's one really thing that annoys me about the the transformer is that the stock Android browser on Honeycomb would crash a lot of times. You'd have like a bunch of windows open and then it would crash and you'd have to start from scratch again going back to history. Uh, I was haven't had enough time to test it yet, but I did have a whole bunch of windows open earlier and uh, it did seem to be improved. It wasn't a, at one point it kind of slowed down where I thought it was going to crash because I had a whole bunch of windows open and loading at the same time but then it actually just sort of smoothed out and it didn't do it so that was a, that seemed promising. I'll have a high hopes for it. Some of the other stuff like the copy and paste here is easier. We've got this new window that pops up when you move the cursors so you can uh, see exactly where it ends. All of the iPad kind of like the iPad has the same thing. So that's a lot easier to actually use those now. Um, as you can see the whole thing's a lot different. The um, settings menu is a lot different and our little quick settings menu here is a lot got the quick setting icons are all like uh, in a row here for your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that. Uh, we've got the settings right here. We've got a whole new settings menu. Data usage right here. You can set data usage for apps. Uh, that's more for like cell phones and stuff, but uh, we've got some more options in here. ASUS options. So the whole settings menu has just kind of got a new look to it now. So this is Android 4.0.3. Some of the other stuff, we've got a bunch of new uh, wallpapers in here. A whole bunch of tree themed wallpapers. Just some other ones in here. There's also a new live wallpaper. The Asus My Water 2. It actually kind of makes me seasick, but it's kind of cool, I guess. And then when you take the screen, obviously the water. I guess the water doesn't move with it, that's just with the other one. So we've also got these new uh, Android widgets, so this is the regular old weather widget. It uh, made its appearance back in Android 4.0. I remember it from 
a gingerbread to do it. It wasn't uh, available in Honeycomb for whatever reason. So here's our new task manager. It shows what your tasks are running. You can hit one click, click clean to stop everything. Um, some other upgrades. I think this, uh, oh, the camera has been upgraded. So when you're making, shooting videos now, you can actually uh, zoom in while you're shooting videos. That's one of the changes uh, as far as the video editing goes. There's also video editing or edit, uh, photo editing available. We've also got this new app locker. I haven't tested this out yet. Apparently you can set uh, passwords for specific apps. Um, okay, so one of the other cool changes, and I just happened to notice this accidentally, is uh, say you want to group apps together, you can just drag them together now. Say if you want to have all your music apps together into one separate little folder right here, then you pop these up and you have all your apps together right there. So if they made it a lot easier to create folders just by dragging the apps onto the other apps. That's kind of a cool new feature. Okay, so I'm not entirely certain if this changed with the update. I don't actually use this to read because I have a bunch of e-readers to read, but the app definitely does seem uh, different than the last time I checked it out. We've got the on-screen notes right now. You can actually write scribbles on screen. Um, I do remember having text-to-speech before, so that it still has text-to-speech. You've got the different font sizes, of course, and the bookmarks. Um, one other thing, oh yeah, if you uh, hold down on the words, you pop up the dictionary, the wiktionary. Uh, so yeah, that's actually a pretty good e-reading app as far as tablets go. A lot of tablets don't even come with a specific e-reading app, and Asus has their own setup, so it's actually a pretty nice app as far as that goes. Um, so uh, that's basically just kind of a quick look at some of the changes with the uh, uh, ice cream sandwich upgrade on Asus Transformer. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review now. Uh, check out the ebookreader.com. I'm post reviews and uh, hacking tutorials uh, weekly on the ebookreader.com.